Hello, this is Brian with CH53 Gamer. Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Loading up Daniel Jackson. Okay, so we're back in the cantina up in the upper city. Uh, I was going to do the deathmatch in this part, but I remember that when I used to do the deathmatch, I always had the... Uh, some inferno grenades that you get in the black volcar base so we're not going to quite do this yet what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk back towards the undercity and do the sewers and go through the black volcar base and get those inferno grenades and then later we'll do the death match but on the way i am going to turn in the rat ghoul serum quest because it is right here but once we get that turned in i will then cut out the walk between the uh whatever this guy's name is and the Undercity, because no reason to watch all that happen. And here we go with Zelka Forn. It is indeed Zelka. Not that, not that, not that. No, no, stop, stop, stop! God, push the wrong button, and then my guy just won't stop. I'm trying to push the buttons, and he ignores my commands. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. And I have the serum to cure the rat cold disease. I've used a lot of it, but there are, apparently there's enough left to give it to you. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, it, wait. It, I don't really want to know. Can, can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Here you go. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat cold disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrus owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Uh, let's see. Now I can be even more light side. You know what? I want the med packs. Thank you, Zoka. That will be fine. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold the serum to the crime lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, I'll be going now. Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. So I got some light side points for giving it to Zelka. I would have gotten more if I'd refused the reward, but no. No way. You blew it! If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. But no, you had to go and do the honorable thing. I still got paid, and I got med packs. So, whatever, dude. You can look all crazy. All right, so now we're about to head on through this next loading screen. And yes, there is one more little thing. This little guy's right here. One small little thing that just happens. And so we're going to go and take care of that. All right, here we go. This poor Thorian's being bothered. Please, human, I have injured and need of assistance. These human children keep hitting and kicking. I cannot reason with them. But if I fight back, I can be arrested. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak. You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Uh, please, human, help me. Maybe these offspring of your species will listen to you. Um, uh, hey, you kids, leave the Athorian alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Uh, let's see. Just because he's different doesn't give you the right to attack him. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Thank you, human. I was returning from a visit with a work associate. When each child he was attacked me and chased me through the streets. Uh, you should be okay. I'm glad I could help. I'm not giving you a med pack. I just got two of those, and they're valuable. Once more, thank you for saving me from those human children. I must take leave of you now. My life mate will be wondering where I am. Alright, got some more light side points, got some experience points, and now I will make my way down uh. to... Hey, Karth, can I, can I talk to you for a second? Are Never you ready lie. to have a civil chat? Or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm, I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through. But I shouldn't take it out on you. It's about time you two made up. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. 
you're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Karth. Well, that's no big deal. I, mean, I know how it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Karth. For an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. All right, so I keep saying I'm going to cut it out. Cut uh, cut out all the footage until we actually get back down to the up Undercity. But things keep happening. But here we go. Now, I should pick it back up when we get to the Undercity. Of course, if anything happens between now and then, I'll show it. All right, here we are back in the Undercity. Going on a mis mission to rescue Zalbar. Um... And the, I did have to show my papers, because I don't have a Sith uniform anymore, back at the Upper City Guard. I forgot about that. But you never lose the papers, so that's that. All right, immediately find a mine. Mission, you're up. We'll go and collect another mine for what we're going to use them later on. And, you know, I was just having to think when uh, Karth called her a kid and stuff, I think she's supposed to be, like, 14 years old. So we're literally, like, engaging in child soldiers right now. Yeah, good job, Jet. Good job, uh, good guys. Child soldiers, good job. In a way, that kind of make, kind of makes them human traffickers. Just great. Aren't we just a pleasant people? <laughs> right, let's kill these. <laughs> rock ghouls. <laughs> and the rock ghouls are <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Alright. Those rock ghouls used to be worth 50 experience each. Now they're worth uh, 30 experience. Because that, That's because I leveled up. As you level up, some of these guys become less and less experience. So if you remember those... Uh, Rock goals that continuously respawn. Um, it's it's the, it's the yeah. game's way of saying, okay, you can you can continue to get more and more experience, but it's going to get less and it's going to be diminishing returns the more and more experience you get. And so mission's going to come over here. She's going to grab a couple of frag mines. This is once we get Zalbar. This little room is how we get to the next area. She will not open this gate. What? Uh, not this gate. She will not open this force field until we've rescued Zalbar. But Zalbar's close. Let's go to corpse right here, so we'll go ahead and grab that while we're at it. And there we go. Okay, let's save the game. And proceeding through the sewer door. Okay, Gamorian patrol. Good old Gamorians. Alright. Gotta fight this guy. How'd you like that? Alright, another guy eliminated. I'm a little hurt, but no big deal. Oh, I, oh okay, I was able to walk. That was crazy. Maybe this entire time I said I couldn't walk, I just had to wait for my guy to leave combat. I don't know. What? Probably not there. I was. I couldn't have messed it up that badly. Surely not. Okay. From what I remember, does mission have a repair? Oh, there's a promised land journal. Okay, that's two out of the three that we need. Let's look check mission stats real quick. Mission does Taz does not have any repair. Okay. Uh, so there's, yes. you can use this little robot right here to go clear the next area, uh, but it takes repair parts, and, well, I'm not really using the repair parts for anything else. I'm not using repair parts for anything else, so I could do it, but at the same time, I like to hoard everything, so let's see if we can kill these guys without worrying about that. Alright, there's a Gamorrean Chief, a Gamorrean Elite, and a Gamorrean Elite, so let's see how we do it. That's why I saved the game. Ouch! Maybe quite a bit of damage. Okay, I'm down. Okay, uh, oh, you know what? There it is. We found out. Now we know. Okay, so we tried it the one way without using the robot, and that just didn't work very well. I could try to use grenades or stuff, but uh, you know what? No, we're just going to engage the droid in uh, patrol mode and let him do his thing. So here goes the droid. He's going to do his thing. And before I forget, we are about to have to change party members. So, guys, you guys are so... Characters get stuck on things. Okay, before I forget, let's put Karth in a clothing. Uh, we'll give him. We'll take his blaster away. We're even going to take his other blaster away, and we're going to give him. Uh, you know, what? we're going to give him nothing. He's going to be unarmed. Mission: We will give her the Republic mod armor. We're going to give her. Uh, let's see, Karth's blaster or a heavy blaster. We're going to give her Karth's blaster. Yes. So she gets to carry Karth's blaster around, and she gets these motion detection goggles. Because those will help her out. All right. Sure. All right. So here comes this. Boast the droid. Come on. Open the door. 
He opened the door. Now wait for the Gamorreans to all target the droid. One at a time. Okay, so there he goes. And we're in. One, two, three, four. All four Gamorreans are targeting the droid. So I am going to move now move in and target this Gamorrean. And of course I go in the long way because it's D20 and I don't have actual control of my Alright, they're all dead. Perfect. Alright, now we'll back off a little bit. Try to get these remains. Come on. Why am I there? God dang, why can I get these remains? Alright, there we go. Remains. Cardio regulator. Remains. Credits. Alright, per and more one more remains. And credits in a med pack. Alright, here we go. Hmm. And here we go. Look now let's this. rescue Zalbar. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. That robot's gonna fight people. We're gonna have to listen to it. Uh, You're a sight for sore eyes, Mission. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Who's that with you? These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. Good to meet you, Zalbar. I'm Daniel Jackson. You know the language of my people? That is rare among your species. I am impressed. You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There is only one way I can ever repay such an act. I will swear a life debt to you. A life debt? You sure about that, Big Z? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. I am sure, Bishop. This is an issue of great importance to me. Because of our great physical strength, Wookiees are being used as slave labor on our own world. They see us as brutes and animals to be exploited. Over the years, slavers have taken many of my people. We must always be on guard against raids against our villages. When the Gamorians captured me, I thought I was doomed to a life of servitude. I have been saved from one such a fate, and now the only way I can repay you is through a life debt. Big Z swearing a Wookiee life debt to you? Wow, this is major. Do you realize what it means? Um, I love this. I've got a big walking carpet so I can go with the old Star Wars, Star Wars the original, the original trilogy way. You know what? I'm so, it's some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. In the presence of all, I swear my life debt. Forever after, I will be by your side, Daniel Jackson. May my vow be as strong as the roots of the great Rosser trees of Kashyyyk. And I'm honored to accept this vow. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not going to happen again. I'm glad to have you aboard, Mission. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a backdoor into that scum den. Good. The sooner we get there, the better. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. Ranker, are you serious? There used to be a Ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, Rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. That's not really an not really an option. Let's go. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Zalbar has joined the party. We can only have two party members at a time. Everyone else is gonna sit at the apartment. All right, here we go. Journal entry added. Experience points. Blah blah blah. All right, we were gonna take Zalbar and mission. Goodbye, Karth. I will eventually be forced to use you. But until then, no. Okay, Zalbar. Let's see what we got here. Level up. Skills. Uh, we want to give Zalbar... Um, let's see. Fell up the treat injury. Yes. Feats. Uh, you want to start get working him on two-weapon fighting. Yep. And accept. Okay, there we go. So, Zalbar. Let's see what we got here. Um, we're going to give him the prototype vibro blade because he only has one... One perk right now in two-weapon fighting, so I don't want to give him the, uh, 
a, a second weapon yet. And Wookiees cannot wear armor or head headgear. So that's that. All yes. Right, here we go. Nothing in here, really? No. All right, now we're going to go this way. Zalbar, I need you to move. Really wish this game had Fushro Daw sometimes. All right, remains. Let's get this guy. All right. And we got a nice little weapons locker. Mission, I've got something for you to open. Open the weapons locker. Gotcha. This is where Zalbar's Simple. stuff got put. Fragment, all sorts of grenades. And there's Zalbar's bowcaster, which I don't think I'm ever going to use. Did I take everything? I don't think I'm ever going to use. Sure. Okay. Mission one more time. Yeah. I noticed this door over here was locked, so one more thing for mission to do. She needs to open this door. Gotcha. Simple. And there is a... What kind of... There's a frag mine right in front. Let's see if she can disarm it. Ah. Nope. Ah. Got it. Ah. Oh, I did. No, it exploded because I got attacked. Sure. Ah. Alright. There we go. Wow, that was just annoying. And my not moving. That happening was actually a good thing because it meant that I was uh, saved the game. Sa saved the game in a while. Or in a few minutes at least. Alright, I don't really feel like I don't feel like using any med packs right now, so we'll continue to clear the sewers, and at some point we'll be able to get out of here without um well, I'll, I'll be able to zip back to the surface and do a little thing where I go to the hideout to repair my uh, health before I go to the next area. Uh, these these sewers have stuff in them. Somewhere is the second. Uh, oh, there's some more some more rat ghouls. Somewhere is the second Promised Land journal. That. And I have saved the game just a lot because it's always a possibility, especially when fighting all of these rat ghoul beats. All right. Let's do something real quick. Let's go with this sound. I notice the sound is really, really loud. Advanced options. No? Okay. Cancel. Let's go with, uh, maybe the voiceover is what I need to get rid of. And the music volume. How about that? Okay. Let's see if these, these, these roars and, uh, stuff when I'm fighting people is not quite as loud with the voiceover down a little bit. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't know which door to go through first, but this door doesn't lead anywhere, so let's go let's do this one first. Alright, let's we got a corpse. And a corpse. Anything else? Just one corpse. Alright, just one corpse. And I'm really hurt. Mission is halfway hurt. Zalbar is mostly not hurt, so Zalbar, you're on point. Okay. Let's go through this door and a mine. So mission, congratulations, you're going in first now. Why won't it move? Why won't it sure. move? Okay, I move. Yeah. Mission will not move. What? Okay, maybe Zal I can move again. Maybe uh, Zalbar will move. Okay, mission yeah. is not moving. Great. All right, I know how to fix this. All right, mission's moving again. Uh, uh, like I said, it, it forces you to save the game frequently. I did lose one mine. That's why we're all so hurt right now. That's all right. Don't try to disarm. It was my mistake for trying to disarm the mine in the middle of a fight. Mission is not supposed to be on point. No, that's, she's going to get hurt. She's going to get hurt. All right, Zalbar, you do your thing. Right there. Okay. Let's change to mission. And what? let's just run mission away. Ah. Okay, Russian going to run into a corner. All right, now mission is fine. Perfect. All right, now I, I, they chased her. The good, the good news is sometimes the Rackles are as stupid as I am. They will chase people right through impossible locations. All right, now I'm going to start getting back shots. Back attacks. Only one enemy left. Look at how much damage she did. Little mission with her one little pistol did 15 points of damage because that sneak attack. All right. Okay, now Zalbar's not moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Let's see. Does that mean Zalbar's gonna stuck? Get stuck? Where is Zalbar? Where is Zalbar? Okay. Zalbar's not moving. I know how to fix it. All right. We fixed it in the usual way. There we go. All right. So easy. All right, this leads back. Okay, that leads back to where the, the Gamorrean slavers were. So we're going to continue on this way. Um, this way is a dead end, but it might give us like, some loot or something. I'm looking at the map in the top left corner to see that. Skeletal corpse. What is in here? Just some credits. All right, the ladder. Uh, what does this ladder go? Ladder doesn't leave anywhere. The top, the exit is blocked, and so not even a Wookiee can lift it up. That must mean it's pretty tight. Okay, let's go up here. Continuing on through the sewers. And there's a Gamorrean patrol. Okay, so 
The Gamorrean patrol's like, oh no, the Wookiee's out. I know, let's fight him anyway. <laughs> if I will fight through the... If the D20 system will finally let me fight. Okay, it did. And... You know it. Alright, continuing on. At least it got me a lot of saves. Okay, Gamorrean. Let's fight him. You guys, I don't get to see those while we're playing. Alright. The battle music is still on. But it appears I've gotten through. Okay, here's the force field. That's good. And... Here is another sewer door. Alright, let's... So you always want to get a save. All right, so coming on through. From what I remember, this should be oh a bunch of rat ghouls. Okay, perfect. All right, let's let's fight these guys. That hurt. I said a bunch. I mean, there's like a bunch of them next to too. There are all sorts of rat ghouls. All right. That hurt. And there's one last rat ghoul doing his thing. Oh no, there's a bunch of Rackles! Oh my gosh, there are so many Rackles! They're all worth 30 experience. Wow! That was a lot of enemies. Now I'm trying to walk! Alright, here we go. Outcast course number, corpse number three. Perfect. Alright. Journal entry added. Uh, let's see, you guys right here. Got that right there, perfect. And let's keep on walking out of here. All right. So that was okay. Now all the outcast corpses have been, all the journal entries have been found. Oh nope, Gamorian raid leader. Wow, I should have saved the game. Oh, I'm sure I saved the game recently. Let's get rid of that power attack. Yeah, do a regular attack. Perfect. All right. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. All right, three of them are dead. Got a fight? All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Didn't want to have to use a uh, med pack there. Those things are valuable. Got to save them for when we need them. And I can't walk. All right, let's go through this door. And this is the exit, the second exit into the Undercity. <laughs> Oh no, so many rat ghouls! Jeez! I'm glad I saved the game recently! And check this out. My, my, I'm Daniel Jackson is down. That's alright, I was very hurt. No, mission's down! I thought Daniel Jackson would be the one that was down. I was still hurt already. Alright. Alright. So the reason I came out here was to go turn in the uh, stuff to um, the, the Promised Land Journals. But I can't move. So you know what that means? Okay, here we go. I had transited back to and from my apartment to get uh, some health, and I completely forgot that the rat ghouls are all going to respawn at 30 experience each. Here we go. And there we go. Don't worry, there's a way to get around this. Let's hit the right through. And they're almost all dead. And they're all dead. Perfect. Oh, and I was able to walk. Good, 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 good. And there goes the glitch again, the the visual glitch. I guess it's just a visual hey, glitch. Hey, Big Z, we gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad, worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? They didn't. I wasn't their guest mission. I was a prisoner. I don't think they cared much what happened to me. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. I did manage to take a chunk out of the arm of, a of one of the guards that wandered too close to my cage. But it tasted awful, so I spit it out. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Wookiees do not brush their teeth, Mission. It, it just isn't done. What humiliation would you use on me next? A comb? Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? 
Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's just stay focused on the task at hand. So Wookiees don't brush their teeth. Huh. I wonder what it's like to be a dentist on Kashyyyk, then. All right. So let's make our way to the... Uh, we're going to go turn in this Promised Land quest real quick. Uh, I do will say that I've played this before, so let's make sure there's nothing else that needs to be done. Yes, I've bought iGear's little, uh, little scope, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, let's just heal up real quick with this little, this little outcast healer will heal us. Let's just get some free healing real quick. And then we'll turn in the Promised Land Journal, and there's a reason I'm doing everything I have to do right now. You amaze afterwards. me. I always thought the surface dwellers couldn't care less about us outcasts, but you risked everything to help those infected villagers. I wish I had some type of reward to give you, but we outcasts have nothing. All I can offer is the gratitude of the entire village. I guess I never talked to her after healing those, uh, those outcasts. All right, I need healing. All right, there we go. I'm full health. Everyone's full health. Good. So yeah, we, we've, we've helped these guys out. We saved some lives. We uh, helped Hindar or Hester, whatever his name was, and we found some, we're gonna find the way to the Promised Land. Welcome back, Upworlder. How goes your quest? Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? I have all three journals. Here, take them. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the Promised Land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Frukil, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakgul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. Goodbye, Rukil, and good luck. Also, do you actually know what nightfall is? I thought the whole deal was y'all never saw the sun. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen, but the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. And they all leave, and that's why I had to do everything I could. Even I gear is like, yep, I'm out of here. There we go. We got light side points. And everyone got to level up, and I'm just going to hold on to my level up. But Zalbar is level 6. We're going to give him some treat injury, and then now that we got Zalbar around, we're going to use Zalbar to be our computer guy. Because Wookiees are computer guys. Why not? Alright, let's see. Mission is going to go here, 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 and here. She's going to stay, retain one skill point for later. And she's accepting as well. Alright, and they're both level 6. And she has improved scoundrel's luck. I don't remember what that does, but it does something. Okay. So now the, the village is empty and deserted. And so now we just go back to the, to the sewer. And we make our way to the lower sewers. To the Black Volcar base. Alright, here we go. Going on through. We'll be there in just a moment. There it is. We're going to go in this other entrance. Because this entrance takes us close to the, uh, to the force field we've got to get through. And it's been a minute, so I'll save the game and head on in. Oh, someone is lost. Great. All right, who's lost? Zalbar's lost. Okay, let's let's turn on. I haven't done this yet. Solo mode. That way, these two guys will stay here. And Zalbar is not. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Very so slowly coming up. I was clicking Zalbar's sure. name because then he should have uh, joined us. But he uh, 
the, the game was it is having a minute it's having a moment it is a 2003 game running on a modern pc you know you, you're gonna have to expect moments you have to expect moments when you play this game but it's still fun and still worth it all right here we go and mission you're, huh? you're up you won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes lucky for you I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. And the energy field is down. And technically, you don't ever have sure. to use mission in this game again if you don't want to. All right, here we go. And we got some brand new sewers. Got some more rat ghouls, of course. There are always rat ghouls. Hey, let's see if they fight the Megawarian. Or they would they? I wonder if they would fight. The, I think they would fight the Gamorian if I had given them all a, a, a moment before I ran in and engaged. But oh well, I didn't give them that moment, so it doesn't matter. All right, and there's that Gamorian. Yes, they are indeed. These, these, these rock ghouls over here are fighting this Gamorian, making life a little bit easier. All right. Got all that. Oh, and I'm even able to run. Yay. Okay, let's see if there are any any remains to get. Any remains? Nothing over here. Mission out of the way. Mission out of the way! Gosh. Yes? I wish I could Fushro Daw them. I really do. It would make sometimes life so much easier. Alright. A Gamorian, yes. There we go. <laughs> Got the hit in, and got the hit in. Perfect. Eh, can't move. All right, there we go. All right, so this this way is leading somewhere. Let's check this other way out real quick. Because, you know, it's, it's the standard method of playing a game. You open one door, you see it's a long passage, you go to the other door. Yep, there's a frag mine. Yeah? And you get the frag mine. Yet another one. I wonder how many I've got at this point. Let's see what we got here. I've got 11. That's good. 11's a good yes. number. Okay. Let's see what we got here. The Sith Soldier. He's down here. Okay. And a Skeletal Corpse. So the, a single Sith Soldier made his way down, all the way down here, and then died. Good for him. You know, the more Sith Soldiers that die, the better. All right. Now we're going to continue on through the much longer pathway. Because you always go through the shorter path first whenever you're playing any type of RPG. And then you go through the longer one after you go through the shorter one. All right, there we go. That one's dead. All right, let's see what we got here. Nope, 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 nope. And I can't walk. All right, continuing on. Yep, yep. Like I said before, you know, it, it, I'm glad that it conveniently forces you to save the game because I might have forgotten to save the game every now and then. And the game does occasionally crash. So it is very, it's a good idea to have a save game. Let's see, we've got a gas mine and a malfunctioning droid. So let's hit that malfunctioning droid with everything we've got. All right. There we go. Zalbar hits it, and I hit it, and it died. All right, mission. Yeah. There is a mine over here. You're going to recover that mine. Uh, gas mine, though, probably. If I remember, I'm just going to sell it uh, because I'm not actually going to use it ever. So sure. if I remember, I exist. I'll sell it, make some money, and can't move. And we're back. And every time, every time the game has some type of loading screen. Or something. He is caught on Zalbar somehow. Every sure. time the game has a loading screen at some point, uh, I'm going to hear that little, you need to level up sound. And I'm like, yes. Yes, I do need to level up. Let's see. Is this the shorter one or the longer one? This one is the longer one. Okay. But while we're what? here, mission, you're up. Mission, you're up. Mission, you're up. Gosh. This I, I, is funny because, you know, you just get caught on stuff. And your character will just sit there running in space. And won't ever attempt to go around whatever it is that I got caught, caught on. All right. right. So that's the longer hallway. We can see down this. Let's go to the shorter hallway. See what we got going on here. We have some Glorians going on here. All right. Here we go. <laughs> got those kills. And Zalbars is running around. Being a, being a fool. All right. Oh, I can move. Good. All right. Skeletal corpse. Let's see what we got. Just some stuff. All right. And mission. And any guys? Anybody? 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 Nope, nothing. All right. Okay, through the longer hallway now. Yes, this is much better. All right. And we're almost to where we need to go. Oh, there's. Hey, Big Z. 
Don't take this the wrong way, but lately, I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. Scruffy? What are you talking about? I hope you aren't suggesting I take a bath. No, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair's getting all tangled. And uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. You're making this up. I groom every day. My hair is not tangled, and it's not going gray. She's got a point, Zalbar. You could use a good makeover. Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Maybe a nice suit. You don't trim a Wookiee, you don't color a Wookiee, and you certainly don't dress a Wookiee. I know, Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. You'd be on the cutting edge. Arr, leave me alone. Okay, okay, sheesh. Try to offer some constructive criticism, and this is the thanks I get? Let's move on. You can just stay naked and scruffy for all I care. All right, there they are going. All right, so here we go, severed arm. And the severed arm gives us a Beck data pad and a synthesized odor. It basically just tells you how to kill the Rancor. The Beck data pad uh, says this, the thing called odor lets you smell the Rancor. Imagine that. See, there's the Rancor. Fortunately, his back is turned to us, and here's a corpse pile. Okay, the Rancor will one-hit kill you. So we're going to go to the corpse pile. We're going to get, we're going to take this. We're going to take everything. Um, get items. We're going to do it again. And we're going to go to switch to give items. We're going to give one frag grenade. Uh, and we're going to find, where is that, um, that smell? What is that odor? What's it called? Synthetic odor? Synthesized odor. Yes. There it goes. Hit close. And then the Rancor smells something. It says, ah, anything we're smelling is worth eating. Snort, snort, yep, 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 there he goes. And he ate it, and then he died. Uh, I think the game kind of glitched out for a second there. Uh, you were supposed to show him picking up something and shoving it in his mouth, which it didn't show. But then the, then the thing died, and so that's, that's all that matters. Let's see. Can we get our grenade back? Unlikely, because he did eat the damn thing. Yes, he did. What do you know? Oh, and I forgot to turn uh, solo off. All right, there we go. Solo mode is off. Okay, so now we're about to get into the Black Volcar base. Which is just great. Alright, so here we go. Opening the door, a couple of black Volcar guards. Wow, their job was to guard a thing guarded by a Rancor. I bet they never expected, never actually expected anyone to come in here. Come in this way. Oh, they got their shields up in time, though. They're kind of they're hard. These guys are kind of strong. Okay, I'm down. Alright, Zalvar, I want you to attack this guy. I'm glad I saved the game. I did save the game. I usually cut the points out when I save the game, but I did save it. That guy's dead. And that guy's dead. Perfect. All right. What? Here's good old Daniel Jackson. I'm gonna collect these energy shields. And now, can I walk? Can I walk? I cannot walk. Okay, look at that. I have full health. It's a game mechanic, not an exploit. Going into the elevator of the Black Volcar base. All right, so here we are. We've snuck our way into the Black Volcar base to find the swoop bike accelerator, to win the swoop race for the Bex, to get Bastila back. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Black Volcar patrol droid. Let's get rid of the patrol droid. Yes. Always. And let's see what we got Take here. That. Yep, got a hit. Got some hits in, and got a hit in. Perfect. Alright, that guy's dead. Perfect. Alright, let's go in here. Let's see. From what I remember... Let's see. It's been a while since I've done this. This is some good good, good times. Alright, let's see what we got here. In here, the turrets one hit kill you. Um, if, if they've got a security panel. Let's leave the computer. Let's see what happens. Why not? Why not? Let's see what happens. Yep, one hit kill. One hit kill. There's nothing yeah. to do. One hit kill. Yep, one hit kill. And she tried to make the elevator. One hit kill. There we go. Alright, so that's not the way. That That is the way to go, but you go other ways first. Let's see. I think we go these ways first. Standard door. Disabled sentry. Okay. Anything in here? 
Anything, anything? No, nothing at all, okay. Now, next we go this way. Standard door. Oh, a gas mine, okay. Something else huh? to sell. Mission, you're up. There you go. We're going to make some money with this mine at some point. I don't know how much it's going to be worth, but it'll be worth something. <clears throat> Even if it's worth, like, one credit. What? That's still more than what I've got. <laughs> All right. Anything else in here? Nothing. Okay. Now, let's see. From what I remember, we're going to go this way first. It's always open. Yep, there's a volt patrol droid. Let's take out the patrol droid. All right. Oh, it kind of hurts. All right. Ow, hurt a lot. Okay. Patrol droid's dead. And can't. All right, patrol droid's dead. Uh, let's see. I think there was a few enemies in here. Yeah, Black Volcar. There he is. Let's take this guy out. All right. Take him out. Oh, there was somebody on my left. This guy has a shield. That's all right. I will kill him through his shield. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, and then Zalbar got that guy. Good job, Zalbar. All right. Okay, that guy, I don't think I can get to him. But I know this guy, I can definitely uh, get the remains. All right. Okay, so you conveniently can heal yourself because you can go through out this exit and that gets you that black Volcar base entrance that we cleared out a long time ago. And uh, from there, you can um, just zip back home. And then by that point in time, the, the uh, other side of the door is unlocked and it's all good. All right, fight. There we go. All right, here we go. Come on. Right, come on. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Good job. They're all dead. All right. That's good. All right, this is an armory, and I can't move, so we'll take care of that in a minute. Okay. Get this guy out of the way. Mission. Where are you at? There you are. Open up the armory. Gotcha. Simple. All right. Get yes. me back. All right, let's see what we got over here. We got... Oh, a bunch of stuff. Okay. Oh, this is some good stuff. This 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 stuff will help improve my uh, armor that I'm wearing, and it will also. I got some ion blasters in there. Okay, now let's go over here, and this opens up. All right. Oh, a cook. What is yeah. the kitchen? Yes, such a brave cook. Good job, cook. I'm glad. I'm sure that the Volcars would appreciate the fact that you ran in and sacrificed your life. All right, ooh, a droid. Okay, let's ski. Let's ski. take out this droid. All right, and come on, let's go a little bit more. Perfect, got it. And can't move. Let's see, that's okay. Oh, nope, nope. There's definitely a bartender still there. All right, let's take out this bartender. The cook and the bartender. What kind of face is this? Man, they sure they sure are dedicated to their employers. And what is that over there? Another droid. A bouncer droid. Okay. All right. There we go. And can't move. All right. That door's open. That leads us right back to where we were. Uh, this should lead back to a hallway we've already been to. Yes. Meaning this door is the last door to open. And let's talk to... Oh, there's a wall. Oh, well, we're going to get the footlocker first because that's obviously more important. And there was an ion grenade there, which is useful. Let's talk to her. Wait. Please don't hurt me. I just serve the food here, that's all. I'm not like these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. The cook and the bartender both tried to fight me. Uh, don't worry. How did you end up in the how did you end up in the black in the Volcar base? My name is Ada. My father owed Davik some money, but he couldn't pay. Davik killed my father and sold me into slavery here at the Volcar compound to pay off the debt. Um if I let you go, can you find your way out of here? Now that you've killed the guards who were supposed to watch me, I, I think I could find my way out of here. Hurry then, get out of here. Uh, I'm free to go? You're not going to kill me? I, I don't know how I can ever repay you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I have to get out of here before any of the Volkers see me. And light side points gained. And there we go. That was easy, that was fun. All right, so let's go over here now. A little bit more to do in the Volcar base. We're getting close, though. Um, let's see. Security door. Huh? You're up, mission. Gotcha. All right. What? Simple. Sure what's that? And the black Volcar. There we go. Let's fight this guy. Oh, look at that. 
A smart black full car. I surrender. I surrender. Please don't kill me. I'm not like these others. I'm not like Bredjik and his new Volcars. What are you talking about? You're a Volcar, aren't you? I am. I'm a Volcar, but I was here long before Bredjik took over. I was a Volcar back when it up, back when we had honor. Then Bredjik and his followers took over and turned our game into a bunch of violent thugs and bloodthirsty fucks. Now they treat us all original Volcars, Volcars like second-class citizens. Take me for example. I used to be one of the highest-ranking Volcars in the game. Now I'm stuck on guard duty here in the back, all thanks to Bredjik. Uh, let's see... Uh, I'm going to let you live. Go on, get out of here. Thanks, thanks a lot. And don't worry, I won't cause any trouble for you on the way out. In fact, I hope you take Bredjik and his whole cars down. Okay. So that guy's out, and I can't move. Okay, here we go. Is there a footlocker in the back? Let's see if I get anything. Nothing really. Okay. And a little bit to go over this way. Here is a standard room. Oh, some enemies. Why can I not get through the door? Okay. Maybe if I fight them, I can get through the door. Here. All right, that worked. Oh. Yep. 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 And let's see. Can Zalbar get through the door? Okay, Zalbar can get through the door. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of Volcars in here. Wow. Sure. Oh, now I made it through the, vol through the door. Okay, cool. I forgot there are this many Volcars in here. Let's fight this one first. Oh. There we go. Yep. Just going on a little. There we go. Keep fighting them up. Alright, all of my party member is down. Okay, that's me. Uh, I hope I saved the game recently. I think I did. Yep, okay. Party member is down. That's mission. Uh-oh. We have a game saved. Okay, we got a game saved right here. This is fine. This is fine. Let's see what we got here. Alright, we got those back. I think, now that I remember it, there is somewhere... There, we, we can do this a different way. There is a different way to handle this. Yeah? Zalbar, you are all up in the way. When I remember, I should use Zalbar, because I've started to give him computer. Yes, the security panel. We haven't done this yet. Okay, slice the computer. Yep. Access security cameras. We want to go to the barracks. There it is. That's right. And we're going to overload the power conduit. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That, that's, that's much better. Much easier. Okay. And we're going to return to the camera menu. Uh, pool? Can we do anything in here? Nope. Return to the camera, root, root, camera root menu. Garage elevator? Yes. Yes. Ah, shut down the garage elevator security system. Yes. That's what we need to do. Okay, now those one-hit kill turrets are deactivated. Perfect. All right. I'm glad I kept all those computer spikes we've had. All right. We're logging out. Logging out. There we go. Journal entry added. What? We can now get downstairs and... That extremely annoying, powerful group of enemies should all be dead, except for one guy. All right, and we can even walk through this time. Perfect. All right, let's fight this guy. You're all alone. One guy is much easier to kill than how many that is. All right, perfect. Yay! Remains. We're gonna pick up these remains. Let's see. What oh, a pass card. I bet the pass card would have got me without using eight security spikes. Oh. All right. So we're checking the rest of these guys' remains. There's another pass card. Okay, so a couple of those guys were pretty high ranking, which is why they were so hard to beat. All right, and last little bit right here. There we go. Okay, so that was this right here, and then there's one more thing to go through. Zalbar, you have a little bit of repair skill. Oh, no, you might not. I don't, I don't think I actually gave you any. Reactivate the droid, program the droid to crawl into the pool and self-destruct, yes. And wait for it what? to do that. Ever so slowly. Oh, it's setting off all the gas mines. How about that? Good old pool. The Volcars. They had a pool inside their building. And they've drained it and don't use it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got some more stuff. Okay, and there's my three plasma grenades. That is what I wanted to fight. To fight, uh... To go do the thing. The, um, death match. That's what I needed. Okay. Well... I have been doing this for close to an hour, and we have gotten, even though it totally destroys the flow of the game, let's go head up towards, oh, uh, never mind. Who is I waiting on? Let's see, yeah. I'm waiting on what? Salvar. There you are, okay. All right, what? anyway, I'm approaching the end of what I can do in one session. Um, so we're kind of, we, we, have, we have the game saved, 
We're going to return to the hideout. Yes. We've refilled our health, which is good. We're going to go inside here. We're going to look over and say hi to Karth. He's hanging out right there. And we're going to go over to this workbench. And let's see. I know I picked up some armor. So I definitely want to do that. Yes. Uh, the Republic mod armor. Nothing there. Okay. Um, have I gotten any more of Karth's blaster? Yes, I got it for, for mission to use. Uh, Bowcaster? Yeah, well, no, we'll improve that while we're here. Um, and the melee. Have we... Anything? Anything? Yes, we got this. Perfect. All right. So we've, we've done our stuff. And I was thinking about... You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to finish. I'm going to finish the Volcar base. I'm not going to cut the Volcar base in half. Uh, fortunately, you can transit back just like this. I'm not going to cut the Volpar, Volcar base in half just because of time. We're going to just have an extra long episode. That's all right. It's all right to have a long episode. Okay. So let's hurry up and make it back to where we were. We've gotten all sorts of good stuff in the Volcar base. We've got three of the plasma grenades, which will do the deathmatch after the Volcar base this time. Uh, this should be shut down. Let's save the game in case it isn't. In we go. Standard door is open. All these things are shut down. Elevator into the lower part of the Volcar base. All right, this is a big, huge room. Uh, we got there's some enemies in here somewhere. Let's go kill them. Of course, there it is. Um, right there. Kill it. Yes. All right. Got that guy killed. Yes, perfect. Okay. And can't walk. All right. So let's open this little door right here. I think actually there's nothing in here. Yep. That is that was a waste of time opening that door. Which it happens. It happens. Let's see what we got here. Um, this way. This way. There's some, a garage head. Oh, and there's a Volcarge right here. I should have gone the other way. I, I, I think I did save the game. I had to. All right, perfect. All right. I can't walk. I cannot walk. Because I have to save the game in the middle of a battle. All right, garage head. Okay. All right, D20 system. Do your own thing. Oh. All right, got the garage head. Got that guy and that guy. Perfect. Excellent. All right, mission. Yeah. You're in charge. Because there were a couple of things over here. Yes, a couple of gas mines. These gas mines are money. Yes, they are. All right, there's one. And there's two. All right. What? Here I am. What? How did I get stuck on mission from there? I don't understand it. Oh, this game. It's a, it's a great game. It's a great game, but damn, it's infuriating sometimes. All right. Ha! 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 I don't remember it being this infuriating back when I played back in the day when I played. I don't know if it's, I've just gotten used to games that aren't quite so glitchy. It's hard to say. Or if uh, if I it's, it's, or just rosy, rosy memories. Who knows? All right, so we killed those guys. This door right here is where we have to go to finish this level. But we're gonna go clear the rest of the level out first. All right, so let's see what's over here. Oh, uh, let's save the game. All right, Black Volcar gang member. Here. That was an easy kill. All right, anything? 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 This is the swoop, the swoop area. Oh, radiation shields. Perfect. Yep, energy shield. That one has no uses. All the other shields have a use because the enemies used them before I was able to kill them. All right, black four card gang member. I'm gonna kick these guys out. Yep. Yep. All right. And here we go. And no walking. All right. The workbench, which, if I had not gone out, gone home, I could have used that workbench to fill up all my, add in any of the add-ons I got. Oh well, whatever. We're almost done. Okay, so the remains right here. Yes. Oh, I think that was the garage head. Those are some pretty hardcore remains. Anything over here? Anything? Nothing. All right. And then we're going to go up to this way. And there is one more thing to do in this area. Um, let's see. Standard door. A Volcar gang member. Actually, there's a couple more things, but there's one one more thing before we, we fight the final boss. 
of the Volcar. I D20. I pushed it is let sit there. Well I don't do anything. Alright. And of course needs to, you know, I can't move. Every fight. Every single fight. Alright, here we go. Footwalker. Yes, we're gonna take that. Alright. And we're gonna open this door right here. And anything? Anything? Oh, the garage head's desk. Let's see what we got here. Um, oh, I got the improved energy cell and the garage head key card. All right. Zalbar, you're in charge. Let's go to this garage computer. We're going to slice the computer and we're going to activate system commands and we're going to open all security doors. All right. Return to the root menu and log out. All right. Now, that's good. Now, sure. I'm back in charge. Okay. So, one last thing to do before we go and fight the ba the Volcar base boss, and that involves opening up this blast door over here. Now, behind that blast door is a very powerful droid and some good loot. However, I don't want to be weak when I fight him. And there we go, we're full health, it's like magic. Okay, so we're gonna run up to here, and we're gonna do a few other things. Let's see what we got here. Zalbar, if I remember, I've been collecting all sorts of stuff, and one of the things I picked up is an ion rifle. All right, and Mission is going to pick an ion blaster, and hopefully she'll get some... Why is she not getting an ion blaster? Okay, hopefully she'll get some back shots. All right, and then me. I will continue sure. to use my thing. All right, there's the patrol droid. Okay, can I shoot at it yet? Let's throw some ion grenades at it. All right, throw another ion grenade at it. Okay, why are you two not firing? You seriously, mission. Um, I expected better from you. I really did. All right, and Daniel Jackson, uh, you're gonna continue to throw ion grenades because actually I only have three. All right, let's see what happens yeah. here. If I come out of these three. All right, there we go. Excellent. And excellent. Mission, she has to finish him off. It's on you. It would help if you didn't miss. All right, let's attack him. He has this, he has this uh, carbonite beam, which can freeze you, which is what happened. And guess what needs? I can't move. Imagine that. All right, we've killed the powerful droid. Yeah? Mission, it's on you. Let's see. I could bash these open, but I don't want to. Gotcha. Simple. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, five plasma grenades. Perfect. I now have and 2,000 credits. I now have eight plasma grenades, which is more than enough to finish off the main boss in this area and then go take care of Bindak Starkiller. And now we're ready sure. to go take out the deathmatch on the next day, of course. Well, we just look at that. We're even full health again. Imagine that. It's a game mechanic. <laughs> Makes it easy. Okay, so we're going to go over here, and we're about to walk into this door and confront the final boss of the Volcar base. Looks like we have visitors. Lackeys conned by Gavin Thek into trying to steal Brejik's swoop engine accelerator, I bet. Brejik stole that engine from Gavin. It was never yours to begin with. Well, I didn't go to all the trouble of acquiring this prototype just so you could steal it back from that old fool. Would you like me to dispose of these Beck spies, Candon? Hold on a second. I see you aren't wearing the hidden Beck colors, so I'm guessing you aren't part of that feeble old man's game. You must be a freelance person. Oh, uh, okay, so here we go. It's a, you know, light side, dark side. I could switch sides right now. I want the black Volcars to accept me in the game, even though I just killed so many of them. Enough yapping. Hand over that accelerator. Instead of stealing the prototype for the Bex, why don't you come work for us? The Black Volcars could use someone like you. Forget it! I know all about you, Black Volcars. Be smart. Gadenthek is old news. He's a blind fool in more ways than one. Frederick is a visionary. Soon he'll control the entire lower city. Don't shackle yourself to a losing team. Forget it! I won't betray Gadden. I see there's not much chance of convincing you to come work for us after all. Most unfortunate. Can I kill them now, Candon? Yes, darling. Kill them. Kill them all. Alright, here we go. Alright, Candon Ark. Let's see. We have so many things here. 
Um, let's give you just a regular old grenade. Yes, why not? I'll give you two of them. Uh, mission, I want you to give... I, I sometimes I think about throwing a plasma grenade against this person, but, uh... You know what? I've got so many plasma grenades. i got eight plasma grenades. Six is enough. I'll give... You, you get one, and then you get a frag, yes. And then... Oops. What is going on? Yes, okay, that's the same one. Perfect. I thought, her, I thought she had a name. Okay, then I'm going to attack. Me, why is it here? Okay, I'm going to give you a plasma grenade, and I'm going to give you a regular grenade, and I'm going to attack. And Zalbar. I thought I gave myself some orders already. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to give you a grenade, and I'm going to give you a grenade, and then I'm going to give you an attack. And that should be everyone. Yes, perfect. All right, let's do this. And you know what else I didn't do? I didn't give mission. This guy, he needs his uh, prototype vibro blade back. And it cleared out the orders. Damn it. All right. Okay, you can have that. You can have that. You can attack. Mission, we will... Yeah. I'll, I'll check. Yeah. I'll remember. Let's see. She's going to one more grenade. Perfect. All right, now I, okay, now I need to remember to change her, mission, her gun back to Karth's blaster. Perfect. There we go. And for, yeah. for the use of four little, for the use of four little grenades, no. we have accomplished so much. I didn't even need to uh, heal, heal up on health. That was just too easy. All right, they're they're all dead. All right. Oh, I can even walk around. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Let's see what we got here. Remains. Yep. All sorts of stuff. Remains. Oh, all sorts of stuff. Hair trigger, energy shield, military rifle, a verpine headband. I think that needs to go to me. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's right here. Verpine headband. Yes, that is better. Okay. And then mission what? over here. Remains, yes. And there is a frag mine protecting the swoop engine. And there, just like that, we have now acquired the swoop accelerator. What? That is great. All right, let's get out of here. Yep, let's get on out of here. We can, why not open the door? Open every door. Yes. That's always a good way to play. All right, so heading on this way. Uh, that was a little stutter step in the game in case it glitched. Let's save it. There we go. Getting on out of here. Past the junk pile droids. More junk pile droids. Black Volcar base completely devoid of all people. And they would have let me join the Black Volcars. <laughs> oh, from what I remember, it wouldn't stick. Yeah, it wouldn't stick. Um, either way, you end up, you have to do like, once you finish through this little quest, I think it ends up the same. So it kind of railroads you that you end up fighting. You, even if you join the Volcars, they, they would betray you. Naturally, they would. Why wouldn't they? Okay, now instead of walking straight back to Gadon Thek, I am going to return to the hideout. And now that we're here, we're going to go inside real quick and make sure. And we're going to make sure that we're fully upgraded on everything. We did get a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Armor. Nothing. All right. Nothing. Um, ranged. Yep, we got something right there. A symbol. Karth's Blaster is now fully, uh, fully upgraded. And melee? Anything? Nothing still. All right. Close. All right. Let's get out of here. We're going to go with Karth with a... Mission and Zalbar. All right, so now I'm going to walk back to where I was at the end of yesterday. Today is good enough, um, and we'll uh, I'll end this one in front of whatever the uh, hut's name, where you do the start doing the dueling ring, and now we can go through and and do the death match. Uh, I've got six plasma grenades and and a bunch of regular grenades. And all sorts of other fun, good stuff. And that should be more than enough to take out Bendak Starkiller. And end this last little bit of this quest. Let's see, what side quest do we have left? We have the Dual Ring, and then Dia's Bounty, and Bendak's Bounty. And Bendak's Bounty we'll get within there, and Dia's Bounty we'll take care of once we cut Bastila. Okay, and then the Searcher Bastila we'll handle with Bastila. And so yeah, we've, we've, we're getting close to the end of being done with Terrace. Very close, actually. All right. Let's see. No, not that close. It'll be a couple more parts. All right. Azure, that's his name. So we'll pick back up 
tomorrow with Azure and do a bunch of duels. Well, anyway, uh, thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed today's game, please, please today, uh, today's video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, any comments are always useful to help me improve my YouTube channel. So uh, feel free to comment away. Thank you very much and goodbye.